then Dean Rasher Smith in 2014. And two Britons go in this final. There's Hannah Breyer surging out of the tunnel. Coached by Neil Merry. Belongs to Swansea Harriers. She's a good athlete, Breyer. She will go in lane two. Mercy and Obong of uh, Nigeria goes in lane three. Fourth in her semi final, 11 58. Candice Hill won her semi final with uh, 11.12, a new championship record. She starts here as favourite, although she had a strong following win. Khalifa St. Fort, coached by Atto Bolden, silver medalist in the World Youth 100 last year. She goes in five. Eva Svoboda, listen to the roar for her in front of the home crowd, a semi final winner in a national record of 11.17. The 18-year-old comes here as a very, very strong favorite for a medal of some color. She was European junior champion last year. She set a world indoor under 20 record over 60 meters in Torun in Poland. This was last winter of 7.07. Imani Lara Lanzikot of uh, Great Britain goes in lane seven. The Southern District 18-year-old will be uh, beside Evelyn Rivera of Colombia and uh, Ima Isam Isa Jassim of Bahrain goes in lane nine. Jassim, another former uh, Nigerian, very powerfully built. So Britain with the only the only nation with the uh, two athletes going in this final. They are in lane one, Hannah Breyer and Imani Lara Lanzikot of, in uh, lane seven. Marley scores world record back in 77, 10.88 for the GDR. Well, I take everything that's got GDR beside it, and results and records lists and rankings with a pinch of salt. I'm afraid that is uh, more than they deserve, probably. But there is the lineup: eight athletes. Lanzicott in lane seven. Well, a very good athlete, coached by Jonas Twaiduru. Previously by Lorna Booth and Joseph Felix. Won a heat in a personal best of 11.17. A lot of attention, of course, will be focused on Svoboda here. Who set that national record in her semi-final, 11.17. She's only lost, she only lost one race all last winter. She came here as world number three, but now she's world number five after some fabulous running in the semi-finals. She ran in Amsterdam last week, but only in the European Championship uh, 4 by 100 meters races to keep her powder dry, so to speak, for this week's campaign. Looks mature beyond her years, doesn't she, uh, Svoboda? Anna Bryan. Well, third in a semi-final in 11.39. That was uh, a personal best with a wind limit, wind right on the limit of plus two meters per second. But she's done so well to get through to this final. The American youngsters, shy and retiring as ever. There is Bryant. Not an ideal lane draw bring out on the uh, outside of the uh, rank. She goes in two. 18-year-old. A lot of people in Swansea will be rooting for her. Mercy and Obong of Nigeria. Fourth in her semi-final, 11.58, will give her Briar a really good, realistic target to battle with. Candice Hill, championship record holder now after 11.12. Did the sprint double at the World Youth last year in Cali. Set a world under-18 best of 11.08 in that competition. Khalifa sent four, coached by Atto Bold and goes in five. Then... Uh, Eva Swoboda goes in lane six. Listen to that roar. She's not a shy young thing either, is she? <laughs> Imani Lara Lenzikot of Great Britain then in lane seven. Nice smile from her. Can she spring a surprise here? 11.24 in her semi-final. Her personal best coming when she won a heat in 11.17. Evelyn Rivera of Colombia there goes in eight. And Im Iman Issa Jassim goes in lane nine. Bahraini in every respect an outsider with 11.58 in her semi-final. Well, Dina Rasha-Smith won this title two years ago in Eugene. 
Jody Williams back in 2010, taking gold as well. She uh, added a silver in the 200 to that to Jody Williams. And back in 2008, Ashley Nelson took a bronze. The Great Britain have a good tradition in this event. Dina Rasha Smith, of course, sprinting to European Senior Championship gold over 200 metres just last week. A couple of weeks ago, I suppose, now. But there will be such a roar here. If Svoboda can get amongst the medals or indeed take the title. The lineup again from the inside. In two is Briar of Great Britain. And Tia Robong of Nigeria in three. Candice Hill of USA in four. Watch her. Khalifa St. Fort goes in five for Trinidad and Tobago. Svoboda in six for Poland. Lanzikot, Great Britain, seven. Rivera, Colombia, eight. Jassim Bahrain nearest the camera in lane nine. Well, St. Fort keeps very low indeed. Svoboda quits leading at the moment, but going well at the moment is Candice Hill. Candice Hill and Svoboda battling at the moment. Hill's going to take it. Svoboda second, St. Fort third there. That's the one, two, three. And the championship record has gone again. 11.08 with a marginal following win, plus 0.9. There was no denying Candice Hill there. A championship record at 11.12 in a semi-final. That with a maximum legal lead uh, wind behind her. But there, 11.07, Martin. That is the quickest time in the world this year. And indeed, it puts her eight on the all-time world under 20 rankings. There was absolutely no denying the American there. What a session they've had. Their third gold of the session for the USA. Svoboda did everything that could have been asked of her, but it wasn't quite enough on the night. Yes, 11.07 puts her alongside an Olympic gold medalist, Bianca Knight, who picked up a relay gold in 2012. Inevitable, there was a lot of attention on the Polish girl, Eva Svoboda, carrying the hopes of the host nation, but Candace Hill came into this final as the outstanding favourite, and uh, well, she's almost romping down that home straight. Svoboda decent run very good run there in fourth place by Imani Lara Lansiquo there of Great Britain quite a long way behind the winner but she did come through in fourth place so that's an outstanding achievement there by the Britain but uh, Candace Hill yes yeah, she uh, removes the name of Veronica Campbell Brown two-time winner of the Olympic 200 meter title and a former world 100 meter champion as the holder of the championship record so I think it's fair to say that this young lady, Candace Hill, who we have seen before at this level, could well go on to be a big name in global sprinting. That's the sixth time the USA have taken gold in this discipline. They've had to wait a little while. Jenna Batamo, back in 2008, taking gold in front of uh, Ashley Nelson of Great Britain. American champions Ashley Owens, whatever happened to her back in 2004. Lauren Williams in 2002. Shakedia Jones in 1998. I'm not sure I remember that name too much at senior level. Sabrina Kelly, likewise, won in 94 for the USA. Isn't it amazing the number of youngsters who uh, reach the highest heights in their age categories, as does Candice Hill today, 11.07 from Savoda at St. Fort, but who don't make it through as seniors. And it's interesting you mentioned the last time there was an American winner in 2008 when those championships were held on this track, or at least in this stadium. I think the, uh, the track has been redone since then, but there we have another American winner of a sprint title. And uh, take a look at the face and make a note of the name, because I suspect they will both crop up again.